And of course, uh, we've got Mr. Andrew Kirk in the studio, whom I've just found out is somewhat of a celebrity nowadays. Among a very select group of people. Wow. My husband likes you on the radio, Andrew. Yeah, he there's even a said, lot of- He's oh. like, I like Andrew. He's kind of goofy, but I like him. <laughs> All right. A lot of people love you on the show, Andrew. I got one more fan. <laughs> I think Apparently, I'm up to six. you've got more fans than just what we're mentioning. What were you doing last night, Andrew? Mm-hmm. Tell yeah. us. All right. Apparently, one of my six fans is uh, wanted me to do an auction, to be an auctioneer oh. in an auction. And I've never done that, but I've seen it. You know, <laughs> there's there's uh, the Beggar's Banquet here in Tri-Cities. They've got a real auctioneer coming uh-huh. in. You know, so I've seen them, but I didn't know how to do it. So I was just winging it. But uh, Okay, so well, give us an example. Uh, say we, uh, um, okay, here we go. Let's just take this over here. Here's, uh, here's a... Limo bus. A limo bus. There you go. Limo yeah. bus. Limo bus. Go, how would you? Uh, how would you do this? Tired of cleaning up pee on the bathroom floor, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to get away from those kids. It's time to go on a date night, but not just any date night. A date night with Tri Cities Limo. Leave that car behind with all those smushed French fries in the back. Get a nice limousine and go on a night out on the town. Starting at the bid of twenty-five. Do I have twenty-five? Thirty. Thirty. I have thirty. Do I have thirty-five? Thirty-five. And you have forty. Do I have forty? Forty. Forty. We're at forty now for the Tri Cities Limo ride. I have forty-five. Do I have a fifty? Do I have a fifty? Going once. Going twice. But I could not keep track of where I was. <laughs> I'd be like, sold for 85. That was 80. <laughs> sold for 90. That was 75. I couldn't keep track. I had, I'd have somebody watching for me. Plus, you got to go in. Now, here's 75, 75. No French fries. 75, 80, 80, 85. Who's an actual uh, auctioneer that listens to this show this morning? Can we give uh, guys, Andrew some pointers? Okay, the, when I go to Packwood Camping, mm-hmm. they have that auction that goes for like 72 hours straight. That Whoa. guy is the bomb. I love just sitting in there. I hang out and get my little auction thing just to hear the guy. Yeah. Because he's good. Okay. And he just, he throws in like, he throws in tidbits about the thing and then the money and then the money and then and, and, and then he throws something at like a word, you know, and yeah. then none of it makes sense, a lot of it. Yeah. But it's kind of, <laughs> it's definitely. Who's ever done auctioneer stuff? Even if you're not a pro. It's I actually wanna... a talent. There's a couple. There's a couple. I want to hear from uh, you this Josh morning. that owns uh, Legacy Ford. Professional auctioneer. Really? Ooh. Did you guys know that? I had no Josh idea. Josh from Legacy Ford, professional auctioneer. I know the, another lady, the Booker family auctions out on the highway. She's like the top female auctioneer in the United States, right here in Tri Cities. Okay, wait so It's a talent, man. You need to tell me you. that we don't have not one person that's done any kind of auctioneering at all listening to the show. There's got to be one. Give the number again 545. Five, Five four five nine eight zero three. Five four five nine eight zero three. So nine to the eight to the eight to the nine to the eight zero three. Because before I worked in radio, yeah. I would always want to call in, and I couldn't remember the phone number. Five four five nine eight zero three. Good lord. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, professional. Dang it! I was hoping that I could get someone on the line that uh, that could give you some like pointers. Like the cattle auctioneers, those guys are like. Have you been to the, the auction at the like the fairgrounds when they auction off the pigs? These guys are good. Oh, this is... Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah, they spit it. It's like, whoa. Hey, you, and you thought rappers were cool. Be an auctioneer. I, man, okay, so another hard thing is like keeping track of everybody, right? Like right. Every, everybody w- raises their you, hand and yeah. you're trying to see who, who and raised their hand first. you have to remember first. what amount of money. So when you're watching the movies and they like wiggle their ear, oh. you know, or they uh-huh. like cock their eyebrow, right. like, how are they paying attention to <laughs> <They> that? <laughs> yeah, that's a real... Now, pretty much nowadays, you get a card and you go like this and you lift it. That's how, yeah. how they do it. But anyway, <laughs> interesting. Andrew, our little auctioneer. Okay, we'll work on that, Andrew. Hang on a minute. I'm going to try to pull something up here. And see if He's I can. trying to get something yeah. on auctioneer. I'm going to see if I can do it for I you. I had him rolling with the smushed French fry line. Mm-hmm. line. Every every mom and dad can relate to that. The smushed French fry. Yeah. Every, everywhere. Crevices of your car yeah. all over the place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Animal crackers too. It's like, when was the last time I bought animal crackers? How did this end up in my car? Someone's oh, so calling. Good morning, Nikki. Hello. Jeez, really? <laughs> I was going to give you fifty cents for that, that auctioneer. Okay, you got one for us? Fifty cent. I got fifty cents. Yeah. <laughs> We were way up to like eighty five dollars. Yeah, so. we were. Yeah, uh, eighty five cents. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll let you go now. All righty then. Okay. That would be really tough to be able to concentrate and do the numbers and be blah, 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 and then trying to watch people. See, now the auction I went to, the guy's, you know, doing his thing, and then they've got people walking around with some items, and then they'll go, here, you know, hit, yep, 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 like that. They do yeah. yep a lot. Do you get into it a lot? It's I mean, awesome. Do you, you really just get into it? 
Yeah, I was getting into it, but my mouth couldn't keep up. You know, that's how you know the talent is. They just, yeah. their, their minds are going easy. as fast as their mouths, and they're on top of everything. Mm-hmm. And it's a real talent, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you try to, like, get people to outbid each other, like, seriously, like, little fights? Going yeah. On? But I, I tried doing it by, like, don't let her have it. She doesn't really need it, but that... I think I hurt some feelings. <laughs> I tried shaming people. I tried shaming shaming was it people. for a kid's thing? Was, was it, it a Boy Scout thing? It was really complicated. So everybody volunteered to do a service, and then you you bid points that you earn throughout the night to get a service. So like you pledge to make a plate of cookies, and then you bid on a loaf of banana bread. Who was this benefiting? Was it your church? Well, just each other. Yeah, just each other. It was a church thing? Because you earn points in, throughout the night. So Yeah, church thing, you shouldn't be shaming people. That's... And all this because they uh, they know that you're a radio personality now. Either Press that or they just know I got a big mouth. <laughs> Could be both. Never know.